Unraveling the Mystery, The Disappearance of Tara Calico The disappearance of Tara Lee Calico is a mysterious and unsolved case that has garnered significant media attention and public interest over the years. Tara Calico went missing on September 20, 1988, near her home in Belen, New Mexico, and it is widely believed that she was abducted. One of the most intriguing aspects of the case is the discovery of a Polaroid photo in a convenience store parking lot in Port St. Joe, Florida, in July 1989. The photo depicted an unidentified young woman and a young boy, both appearing to be bound and gagged. The woman in the photo was thought to resemble Tara Calico by family friends who had seen her, and they contacted her mother. Tara's mother met with investigators and examined the Polaroid photo. She believed that the woman in the photo was her daughter taking into account factors such as the passage of time, changes in appearance, and the presence of a scar on the woman's leg that matched one Tara had. However, there were differing opinions on the photo's authenticity. Scotland Yard conducted an analysis and concluded that the woman in the photo was Tara Calico. On the other hand, a second analysis performed by the Los Alamos National Laboratory disagreed with this assessment. The FBI's analysis of the photo was inconclusive, further adding to the mystery. Tara Calico's case received extensive coverage on various television programs, including A Current Affair, Unsolved Mysteries, America's Most Wanted, The Oprah Winfrey Show, and 48 Hours, which helped keep the case in the public eye and generate tips and leads. Despite the attention and efforts of investigators and the media, Tara Calico's disappearance remains unsolved, and her fate remains a mystery. Her case continues to be discussed and investigated by those interested in cold cases and missing persons. Tara Calico's disappearance on September 20, 1988, is surrounded by several concerning details. On that fateful day, Tara left her home at approximately 9.30 a.m. for her daily bike ride along New Mexico State Road 47. This route was part of her regular routine. Tara was usually accompanied by her mother, Patty Dole, during her bike rides. However, Dole stopped riding with her daughter after she felt that they were being stopped by a motorist. As a precaution, Dole suggested that Tara carry Mace, but Tara declined the suggestion. On the morning of her disappearance, Tara had plans to play tennis with her boyfriend at 12.30. She told her mother to come and get her if she wasn't back home by noon. When Tara did not return as scheduled, her mother began searching for her along her usual bike route but couldn't locate her. Concerned, Patty Dole contacted the police to report her daughter missing. Along the road, pieces of Tara's Sony Walkman and a cassette tape were found. It was believed that Tara might have dropped them intentionally as a way to mark her trail. Several people reported seeing Tara riding her bicycle that day. However, her bicycle has never been found. While no one witnessed Tara's presumed abduction, several witnesses did observe a light-colored pickup truck, possibly a 1953 Ford, with a camper shell closely following her. These details have contributed to the mystery of Tara Calico's disappearance and have fueled speculation about what may have happened to her on that day. Despite the passing of many years and extensive media coverage, her case remains unsolved, and her whereabouts are still unknown. The discovery of the Polaroid photo in June 1989 added another layer of mystery to the case of Tara Calico's disappearance. On June 15, 1989, a Polaroid photo was found in the parking lot of a convenience store in Port St. Joe, Florida. The photo depicted an unidentified young woman and a young boy, both of whom were gagged with black duct tape and appeared to be bound. The woman who found the photo mentioned that it was discovered in a parking space where a white, windowless Toyota cargo van had been parked when she arrived at the store. She described the driver of the van as a man with a mustache who seemed to be in his 30s. Law enforcement set up roadblocks in an attempt to intercept the vehicle, but the driver was never identified. According to Polaroid officials, the photo had to have been taken after May 1989, as the film used in the photograph was not available until then. The Polaroid photo was subsequently broadcast on the television program A Current Affair in July. Friends of Tara Calico's mother, Patty Dole, saw the episode and believed that the woman in the photo resembled Calico. Additionally, relatives of Michael Henley, who had also gone missing in New Mexico in April 1988, believed that he was the boy in the photo. Both Dole and Henley's parents met with investigators to examine the Polaroid. Patty Dole was convinced that the woman in the photo was her daughter, Tara Calico. She noted that a scar on the woman's leg matched one that Tara had from a previous car accident. Furthermore, a paperback copy of V.C. Andrews' novel My Sweet Audrina, which was known to be one of Tara's favorite books, can be seen in the photo. 
there were conflicting analyses of the photo. Scotland Yard concluded that the woman in the photo was Tara Calico, while a second analysis by the Los Alamos National Laboratory disagreed. An FBI analysis of the photo was inconclusive. Michael Henley's remains were discovered in the Zuni Mountains in June 1990, approximately seven miles from his family's campsite, where he had gone missing. This location was about 75 miles from where Tara Calico disappeared. Authorities believed that Henley had wandered off and died from exposure. As a result, the identification of the boy in the Polaroid as Henley is considered highly unlikely. The Polaroid photo added further intrigue to the Tara Calico case, but it did not provide definitive answers regarding her disappearance. The mystery surrounding her fate and the identity of the individuals in the photo continues to perplex investigators and the public to this day. The case of Tara Calico has seen the emergence of various photographs and potential leads over the years, adding complexity to the mystery. Letters and photos in 2009, in 2009, two decades after the discovery of the Polaroid photo in Port St. Joe, the local police chief, David Barnes, received two letters postmarked from Albuquerque, New Mexico. One of these letters contained a photo of a young boy with sandy brown hair, and someone had drawn a black band in ink over the boy's mouth, similar to the 1989 photo. The second letter contained an original image of the same boy. Two days later, the Star newspaper in Port St. Joe received a third letter with a postmark also from Albuquerque, depicting the same image of the boy with black marker drawn over his mouth. It's unclear whether this boy was the same individual as in the 1989 Polaroid. The letters did not contain any return address or a note indicating the child's identity. Authorities suspected a potential connection to Tara Calico's disappearance. Additional Polaroid photographs, two other Polaroid photographs have emerged over the years, possibly featuring Tara Calico. The first of these photos was found near a construction site in Montecito, California. It is a blurry image of a girl's face with tape covering her mouth and light blue striped fabric behind her, which is said to be similar to the pillow seen in the Toyota van photo. The film used in this photo was not available until June 1989. Tara's mother believed this photo depicted Tara. The second photo shows a woman loosely bound in gauze, with her eyes covered by more gauze and large black framed glasses. There is a male passenger beside her, and they appear to be on an Amtrak train. The film used for this photo was not available until February 1990. Tara's mother thought the first photo was her daughter but was unsure about the second photo, considering it might be a hoax. Tara's sister mentioned the striking resemblance in some photos but remained cautious, as the family had encountered many photographs that turned out not to be Tara. These additional photographs and leads have further complicated the Tara Calico case, with conflicting opinions about their authenticity and relevance. The case remains unsolved, and the fate of Tara Calico remains unknown, despite ongoing investigations and the emergence of new information over the years. The case of Tara Calico has seen various developments over the years, though it remains unsolved. 1998, Tara Calico was officially declared dead, and a judge ruled her death a homicide, although her body had not been found at that time. 2008, the sheriff of Valencia County, Rene Rivera, reported that he received information suggesting that two teenagers had accidentally hit Tara Calico with a truck, leading to her death. According to Rivera, the boys panicked and subsequently covered up the crime. He claimed to know the names of those involved but indicated that he couldn't make a case without a body. This revelation led to controversy, with some believing that strong circumstantial evidence should be enough for a conviction. 2013, a six-person task force was established in October 2013 to reinvestigate Tara Calico's disappearance. 2019, the FBI announced a reward of up to $20,000 for information leading to the identification or location of Tara Lee Calico and the arrest and conviction of those responsible for her disappearance. 2021, in September 2021, the Valencia County Sheriff's Office and the New Mexico State Police issued a statement that they had a new lead in the case. A sealed warrant focused on an unknown private residence within Valencia County was issued, but no further details were provided. 2023, a significant breakthrough in the case was announced on June 13, 2023. The Valencia County Sheriff's Office, led by Sheriff Denise Vigil, held a press conference and stated that there was sufficient evidence to submit the investigation to the district attorney's office for review of potential charges. The identities and specifics of the persons of interest were sealed by the court, and their release depended on a court order.
Despite these developments, including the official declaration of Tara Calico's death as a homicide and the ongoing investigation, her case has yet to be resolved. The mystery of her disappearance and the uncertainty surrounding her fate persist, and the efforts to bring closure to her family continue. The case of Tara Calico is a haunting and perplexing mystery that has spanned over three decades. Her disappearance in 1988, coupled with the discovery of a disturbing Polaroid photo in 1989, generated widespread attention, speculation, and numerous investigations. Despite the passage of time, official declarations, and renewed efforts, Tara's fate remains unknown, and her case continues to baffle law enforcement and the public. The emergence of various photographs, the controversial statements by officials, and the ongoing search for answers have only added layers of complexity to this enigma. The latest development in June 2023, where law enforcement announced a significant breakthrough with persons of interest, brings renewed hope that this case may finally see some resolution. Tara Calico's story is a reminder of the enduring pain and uncertainty that the loved ones of missing persons endure. It also serves as a testament to the persistence and dedication of law enforcement, investigators, and the public who continue to seek answers. As we await further developments in this case, we can only hope that the mystery surrounding Tara Calico's disappearance will eventually be unraveled, providing closure to her family and bringing an end to one of the most enduring missing persons cases in recent history.